Welcome everyone to the home of finding sweet chocolate Easter eggs within our video games. Well, okay, perhaps not chocolate ones, but it's as good as having and finding the real thing, but just on a different level, as this is the Easter Egg Hunter. There have been hundreds of Google Easter eggs that have entertained us for perhaps seconds, minutes and even hours and decorated our screens for years. Sadly, many have disappeared as Google updates its vast, ever-changing website, but there are still a great number of secrets to seek out, find, interact with and above all, enjoy and today we're going to do just that by covering a vast collection of them from all areas of google number one Pegman, who happened to get his name after being created and shaped like a clothes peg, has been spotted in all sorts of clothing attire depending on where he's been placed in Google Maps, including a Lego man, spaceman and even a penguin. Sadly, they no longer work, but if you head to Google Maps and type in Loch Ness, Pegman will automatically morph into the Loch Ness monster, and by zooming in after placing him in the water, you can see that he is even sporting a tartan cap. At present, by zooming in on the US state of Hawaii and dangling Pegman over any of the islands or water for that matter he will turn into a mermaid while my favorite can be seen when dropping Pegman onto any road visited by street view cars such as this road in Brighton near the Palace Pier then by selecting the street view of May 2014 option in the top left corner to see previous images and views of that particular street you can spot that Pegman changes into Emmett Brown aka the Doc from Back to the Future. Number two. When it comes to Google Map directions, there have been some really witty Easter eggs like taking a dragon flight from Snowden to the Brecon Beacons to riding on a jet ski across the Pacific Ocean or swimming across the Atlantic, including in a journey from London to New York. At present, you can enter in Windsor Castle with a destination of Buckingham Palace, select the train tab and then take a one hour and 18 minute journey in a royal carriage. Or why not take a 22 minute ride on the Loch Ness Monster by searching for directions between Fort Augustus and Urquhart Castle. Or how about a leisurely punt along the River Sherwell by looking up directions for Magdalen College in Oxford to Walson College, which will take you about an hour and 32 minutes to complete. Number three. Google's main website is where the majority of secrets come and go and sometimes you really never quite know what a search may bring you such as by entering do a barrel roll or how about simple words like askew, tilt, anagram and recursion which means repeat. Tapping in Festivus brings up a Festivus poll referencing the holiday scene in an episode known as the strike on Seinfeld. Conway's Game of Life will honour British mathematician John Horton Conway's game that simulates cellular automaton. Plumping in Bletchley Park, home to code breaking, especially during the Second World War, we'll see Bletchley Park's name being unscrambled by means of a series of numbers and letters. Typing in Pac-Man will still initiate Google's 2010 doodle that celebrated the 30th anniversary of Namco's classic video game. Hitting images and inputting Atari Breakout turns the search bar into a collage of red, orange, yellow, green and blue bricks made up from actual pictures that can be destroyed using a typical paddle and ball from that of the original game. Or how about another game named Zerg Rush, based on the terms used in StarCraft, which means to swarm the enemy with vast numbers. In this case, Google letter O's attack you while you try and stop them from taking down search results. Or if your internet connection goes down and Google can't search for anything, it will immediately swap to a page containing a tiny T-Rex. By hitting the space bar, you can now enjoy a cool little mini game until your internet connection returns. And finally, here's a blast from the past as by typing in Google in 1998 will show exactly what the site looked like 17 years ago. 
Number four. Many YouTube secrets have been and gone over the years, such as the POW icon, the Geek Week Easter egg, Snake has vanished, and it seems like Missile Command has been well and truly blown out of the water. Leaked talk by entering 1337 in the comments section has disappeared, and my little ponies have cantered off the page completely, yet we can still always liven things up with the Harlem Shake. Use the Force Luke is available to control movement, Beam Me Up Scotty still transports all the videos away and by right clicking on videos will still bring up the option for stats for nerds for all your video detail needs. Number 5 Google Earth has also had its fair share of secrets, as originally when zooming right in on the moon's surface it used to show cheese. While this has since been erased, you can still see that the moon's gallery option is represented by a piece. The best moon easter egg though, which still exists, requires entering the guided tours and opting for the Apollo 17 program narrated by Harrison Schmidt. When the tour gets underway, watch it or scroll through the timeline until Harrison speaks of being able to look at our home planet, which is visible in the distance. Distance. From here, pause the video, hit exit, ground level view, then zoom right out and change the camera angle so that you are able to see the earth and begin dragging yourself towards it. You will see that it's moving towards yourself and that is because it's just the picture where on the other side you will find a reference to Georges Millet's trip to the moon film he made back in 1902. Meanwhile, back on Earth, search for the Tacony palmara Bridge, zoom right in and hit the 1992 option at the bottom of the page where the drawbridge or bascule part of the bridge is now raised and a police car can be spotted jumping over the top of it, which represents a certain scene from the Blues Brothers film, although that was actually shot at a different location. And finally, why not head out to Mars and search for Meliza, where the hidden Martian chatbot can be interacted with. Her responses seem rather limited and no doubt frustration can quickly set in, but did you know that Meliza is actually named after Eliza, an early computer program, an example of primitive natural language processing. You can also ask her what 42 is, and if you speak to her about Earth, she will mention that her friend Marvin wants to use his Eludian PU-36 upon our home planet, which is actually a reference to the Looney Tune character of Marvin the Martian, wanting to use his Eludian Q-36 or Eludian PU-36 to destroy the Earth as it obstructs his view of Venus from Mars. Number 6 one of my favourite selections of Easter eggs that Google has hidden for us and clearly had a lot of fun in doing so can be observed at one of Google's data centres, in particular the one found in North Carolina. But if you go to google.com forward slash about forward slash data centre and opt for the inside look, you can either take the guided tour or explore on your own, so opt for the latter, where now you can explore the data centre by using the on-screen controls and dragging the mouse to change the view. By combining them together you'll be able to discover some really cool features including a stormtrooper guarding the network room and an R2-D2 in close proximity. As you exit into the small corridor in the southeast there you can spot a small android sporting headphones where immediately afterwards a sign regarding eating washed vegetables will help increase fibre intake to which an employee can then be seen with a tonne of junk food. As you progress down the next corridor there you can see someone dressed up as a pig man and an employee bearing a hat that has just been rickrolled or then again maybe we just have. Continuing onwards to the notice board opposite the table tennis and pool table to a sign that reads caution this sign has sharp edges as we move on furthermore past the football table and the Xbox setup a large open area awaits us home to a rather large cage and a large waving android and by double backing and heading into the stairwell nearby, the tour will take you past a security scanner and out into the car park where, to the left, a team of Google employees await you and to finish, there's a start finishing line printed on the road to which you can follow the road around the building in an oval, just like on a NASCAR circuit.
Number seven. And to conclude our episode into Google's web of Easter eggs, we're quickly going to take a look at their latest secrets, which was tucked away in Google's new company announcement, where Larry Page explains the idea behind Alphabet, which can be read at abc.xyz. By scrolling down to the eighth paragraph and maneuvering the mouse cursor and clicking between the full stop after our drone delivery effort and the letter W, a link to another page can be accessed known as as Hooli.xyz and is a page that references and tributes HBO sitcom Silicon Valley, which Hooli, the TV show's company, has been referred to as a parody of Google. Well, there we are. Who knows what might turn up next or what we may discover, but perhaps even me tending to my front garden back in 2009, or maybe even me, my dad, my dog, and a banana on the way home after a job. Hey everyone, this is James, and if you ever want to know what else I get up to, then you can always find and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you're new to the channel, then why not subscribe and become part of the journey as we explore secrets, Easter eggs, and glitches every single week. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.